One of the most powerful features of SwiftUI is its ability to control the way views are shown and hidden. Now, yes, we can use a regular if condition to include a view conditionally in our layout, which means when the condition changes, we insert and remove views from our view hierarchy. Transitions control how we handle the insertion and removal of those views. And we can work with a built-in array of styles, combine them in various ways, or even create wholly custom transitions. First things first, let's make a VStack here. Inside there, I'll place a button saying tap me with currently nothing inside. Nothing. Uh, and then below that, I'll place a rectangle, which I'll fill in with the color red and give a frame with a width 200 and a height of 200. Now we can make this rectangle appear only when a certain condition becomes true. First, we'll provide some state we can change over time. Uh, at state, private var is showing red is false. Now we can use that state as a condition for showing our rectangle. We could say, if showing red, then show the rectangle below. And finally, we can toggle uh, oops, is showing red. Toggle is showing red when our button is pressed. So it goes between true and false automatically. So we'll say is showing red dot toggle. Now, if you go ahead and run the program, you will see hopefully pressing the button toggles the Boolean. Toggling the Boolean will show or hide the rectangle like that. Now, there's an animation. Just appears and disappears abruptly. We can get SwiftUI's default view transition, a default animation, just by wrapping the state change using with animation. So we could have said, uh, don't just toggle it, use with animation, and then toggle it like this. And now that small change, the app will fade the red rectangle in and out, while also moving the button up and down smoothly to make space. It looks okay, but we can do better using the transition modifier. For example, we could say, I want to have the rectangle scale up and down as it's being shown and hidden, just by adding a transition modifier like this to the rectangle. Dot transition, dot scale. So I'll press Command R now, and all being well, tapping the button will look much better. We should see, in comes the rectangle, and out it goes really, really smoothly. There are a handful of other transitions to try. And if you want to, you can actually combine them together. You get an asymmetric transition. We could say, I want to have a transition here, which is asymmetric, asym, even metric. When we're adding the view, we're gonna use that same scale effect and when we remove it, we're going to use dot opacity. So we have two different transitions depending on whether we're adding or removing the view. Now I'll run it back, we should see it scaling up when it's shown and then fading out when it's being hidden. So an asymmetric transition. 